Ross Robertson, producer extraordinaire, a man who's done uh, Fear Factory, Soulfly, Sepultura, The Deftones, has uh, at the moment got uh, his own sort of his own label, uh, which is uh, affiliated with Roadrunner Records. We'll find out a little bit about that more. But what you've been doing lately, Ross, is uh, Machine Head. So how's that all been going? It's great. Uh, the new Machine Head, uh, Rob, and the band. Uh, well, the drummer is uh, my very best friend in the world, and uh, I, I actually uh, did that over the new Limp Bizkit, and because um, you know my best friend's in the band, and it was very uh, emotional and uh, and giving the band like totally transformed onto a new level, and uh, the hard edge is completely there. But this time, uh, the lyrics are more intimate and, and giving, and uh, you know they, they give away a lot of <clears throat> secrets that people are usually afraid to talk about, you know, in their lives. And um, it, it's a special record. It's very, very special. It's their best yet. So, from a from a producer's point of view, how important are the lyrics then? The lyrics are great. Uh, greatly important to me um i have like on, on the new machine head i have i have rob uh, explaining to the band as we cut the record it's not on the record this way but like before we would cut the song he would i'd have him explain where he was when he wrote the lyrics what happened when he wrote the lyrics uh, you know just the whole reasoning behind it why and everybody would get on point with the meaning of it and uh, what happens is the the instruments that are being played uh, they forget about that they're playing it and it, it turns into a more of a spiritual adventure into a song and it's more of a feeling than than sound and uh, basically I do that to to communicate from the heart to the heart of the listener and it doesn't really have anything to do with the ears. So uh, what's it been like uh, working with the Machine Head guys? Because they've obviously gone through, uh, you know, uh, a fair bit of trauma in the past couple of years and also, I guess, a fair bit of pressure as well to follow up uh, the more things change. Yeah. Uh, well, when you, when you uh, put it... When you, when you go through the path of what you're doing and you don't... Uh, and you want to fight it all the time, then basically things become very horrible and worse. In the case of Machine Head on this record, they used all of their their changes in the band and seemingly setbacks and turned them into positive uh, uh, positive foundation for the band. And they're so much more strong and and in real now uh things have have become so good for them uh it's, you know the band has been so happy with the record from the very beginning of rehearsals to mixing and uh, they couldn't be happier with everything there was not one single argument no drama it was a wonderful record to make and they're extremely happy with it i suppose it's not uh, always like that when you're producing a record no it's not. Uh, the second Corn record was very hard to make uh, because the band was very burnt out from touring so much, and uh, they had a touring schedule uh, uh, right after we were finished with the record, so there was tons of pressure, and it was written like in a month and recorded and mixed really fast in another month, and they went back out on the road, and then, you know, then they're not happy with the record, and it's like, mm. well... I wonder why. Yeah. You know, they didn't want to be in the studio, and that was very difficult for everybody. Barn! Barn! So how did, how, how do you change your role? How does your role change when, when it is, when you've seen, you see the band under pressure, obviously yourself under pressure? Is it, is it a, 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 you're obviously a conduit between the music and what ends up on tape and the band, but... Uh, do you have to take a different approach when it's when uh, when you find the band is un in difficult circumstances? Always, every time. Um, and the cool thing about it is, 
is I never know what I'm going to do or I never know what I'm going to say to the artist. And uh, there's something inside me that that totally guides me and helps me direct everything. And uh, I just stay out of the way of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I could honestly say I don't know what I'm doing. And, and uh, that spirit inside of me just takes over and and I follow it and trust it now. So it, you know, it's always different. Um, I know what buttons to press to pull emotion out of people, and I know how to take it to the wall the deepest possible way. And then, does it ever get difficult for you to sort of say, well, you know, that was good, but there's a better one in there? No, it's not difficult at all. You know, like, uh, there's there's a song on on this new Machine Head album that uh, Rob Flynn uh, he he said I decided I know I want to you know I had him explain what the song was and and he was kidnapped when he was a when he was five years old and basically kind of tortured and um, I, he said he wanted to do the song about that and everybody in the studio just completely fell into tears mm. and I, I go thank you and I turned to Dave and had him start the song and, and the band was like playing it and it, you know it was emotional and everybody was crying on their instruments and, and I, I was looking around and I wasn't feeling the it you know I was, I was like stop you know and I go look at that guy he's he was given every fucking thing that you can possibly give, you know? And and so I go, give it, you know? And so basically, the, the I go, start, Dave, and do it for real this time. And everybody was like, wah! <laughs> was like playing as hard as they can possibly play. And it was just so inspiring, and it was a gift. That's how I get paid. I, the money is so secondary to the feeling of a of somebody offering their heart and soul on that level you know mm. ah mm. the best